gonna give you a look at my uh, air cannon I built a few years ago. It fires tennis balls. It's a two and a half inch PVC pipe. The bottom half of it, which is this, is the air tank. The barrel, as you notice, it's elevated off of the main tank with some hose clamps using some uh, DIN rail and some standoffs right here. You can see how the barrel is supported. Three places. Then when you get to this area, <clears throat> I have three one inch valves. These are pneumatic, they're not pneumatic, these are irrigation valves and there's three of them. So I can get as much volume as possible to the pipe as soon as possible. But you can see how it manifolds out. So that, that line runs directly into the main tank below. The one in the center, directly down into the tank. And the third one, directly down and into the tank. And I got tired of bringing in all kinds of batteries and forgetting about them. So what I did is I actually hooked this thing up on an AC line. What makes this interesting is this. That most everybody has a jump box. That means you don't have to buy batteries because I mean, you're not going to use this all the time. But when you do, you can just hook everything up all at one time. And this is how it works. I put the transformer in there, this box here. You hook up the airline because it's got a compressor on it. So you just you start pressurizing the tank off of that line right there. Then the, the electrical part to fire the uh, valves off, which I was telling you earlier is that control box or that uh, transformer box right there and it gets its power off of the same box, which is an AC inverter. Then the uh, firing mechanism, which I got a little distance off of it, probably 10 feet, seven, eight feet, something like that, is this one. <clears throat> this is my launch box. This is the uh, firing button, but before you fire it, there's a switch. That means it's armed. Once it's armed, then you flip the switch and fire it. Try to build in as much safety as I possibly could. That's my design on it, you can tell. I don't know what the total volume of the tanks are, but when we fire it off, it'll take a tennis ball and it goes out of sight. I think our next project with this uh, air cannon is going to be, we're going to start launching uh, our fishing lines in the surf with it. Oh, the, the stand. This is how the stand's designed. These are saddles. I had to order these online, but basically the saddles just kind of wrap around the uh, air tank pipe as you see it right there they attach you can uh, you can remove them so when you got to transport it Yeah, I need a little, a little extra paint on the front of it. But it's all self-contained, so like later on, if you want to, like I said, take it to the beach and start fit, firing your fishing lines into the surf, you got your compressor, you have your power source, you have everything all, 
all in one bunch. Airline electrical.